Hey, uh, welcome back to another full self-driving videos in New York. My name is Anato Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos in New York. So we are going to make a left turn. This is an unprotected left turn. We'll be lucky if there are more traffic on our left side or right side because I really want to push FSD and see how FSD handles like, you know, critical situation and we're going to see how FSD handles the whole uh, thing so we're gonna make a left turn there are cars coming from our left side as well as on our right side and we're gonna see if the car goes into that middle uh section of the road because uh okay okay it proceeded perfectly though there was a car coming from our left side it didn't went to the middle lane this time because there are no car coming from the right side so the car decided now we need to change one more lane but that truck is coming a little fast so there are two other cars right now and we can after this car very good immediately proceeding and changing the lane perfectly done very good job there so yeah guys uh, we are going and we're gonna make one more uh, right turn here on this traffic light but the light is red currently so we need to stop and then if uh, there is no vehicle from our left side then we can proceed so we'll definitely observe how FSD handles so oops i would really like if the car wastes a little bit it just immediately make that right turn i would prefer if the car creeps a little bit a tiny bit then look on the left side i know that of uh, like the light is green for making left and uh, right from that opposite side so there will be no car coming from the left uh, side definitely but still i would definitely prefer if the car just creeps a little bit and then takes decision so that's a bummer i would definitely have to mention that uh so guys we're proceeding and we are gonna also test narrow road where the previous software version can't handle that road because it just keep getting stuck on that road for some reason really don't know why it couldn't calculate the space between left and right and just keep getting stuck over there so we are going we're gonna stop over there on that upcoming traffic light and then when it's changed we can definitely proceed we're also gonna test some unprotected left turn that is also a critical unprotected left because what we need to do is go straight stop for a stop sign creep a little bit to look on our left side and right side and then we're also gonna do is we're gonna go straight not immediately make that left turn we have to do go straight make a right turn and then wait on that left turn lane and then when there is no traffic from the opposite side we're gonna make a lot like u-turn so this is how this is i would say like not unprotected left this is a critical left turn definitely just want to mention that i know so many people comment there but let me know what kind of turn is that please let me know because i want to correct myself because i keep calling it unprotected left turn but some people say hey anato this is not unprotected left this is something uh just a left turn or u-turn or stuff like that so I really want to know what kind of turn is that so please let me know uh, yes so we are going we're merging and we can definitely go there is no stop sign there we can just keep going very nicely done no hesitation at all the car is moving pretty nicely and quickly as you can see there is no hesitation there i didn't have to touch the steering wheel once uh, just i felt a little uncomfortable when the car made that first unprotected left turn and now we're gonna see if the car tries to get into there and tries to park or what wow this is good like we reached our destination our car comes here and stopped here it's slowly creeping okay very good now we are stopped here very good so i'm gonna disengage right now put that uh, narrow road testing right now on the gps let's do it guys so i'm engaging right now there is a vehicle from our left side we turn on the indicator and our fsd immediately proceeding nicely done guys i i definitely have to tell you that that fsd 12.6 is is like much better than 12.5.4 it's like very confident if the cameras are clean you will get like very good performance out of fsd probably most of the drive you don't need to touch 
the steering wheel, nothing like that. Like it's very safe, but still you need to be observed the road, the condition. Just don't rely on the cameras. You need or definitely need to focus on the road. I always read on my videos that few people comment like, hey, my FSD is so bad. It cannot just navigate from point A to point B. Um, I would definitely suggest you please clear the camera first of all. Second, you need to be confident too because there are so many videos I watch that people take over before the car even do something. They think like the car will make a mistake and they just took over so they didn't allow the car to do things, right? Like yes, I understand if you're running a red light, you'll definitely break but I would say like making a right turn, left turn, or like even like a when we're in the middle of section of the road, now there is hesitation, the light just changed to green, but we're not making this right turn, really don't know why. Uh, probably confused on that uh, red thing on the shell, um, gas station, red thing over there, probably getting confused for that. Really, really unknown situation there. Um, this is interesting, guys. Let me know why uh, the car was hesitating to make that right turn while the light is green. So what I was saying, please make sure you clean your cameras, all of your cameras, then calibrate, recalibrate your cameras with your car. And the third thing will be, be a little confident. Let the car do what it wants to do, but don't let it that far but just just try you know like when i'm making a left turn my car sometimes immediately tries to left turn while there is a car from the left lane but i understand that yes it's gonna pass and our car will make that left turn so we're gonna do that narrow testing let's do it guys so i engage it one more time i'm noticing also one thing that i didn't have to press that acceleration to tell the car please go the car is taking its time and already started proceeding we're gonna make a left here we're gonna see how the steering wheel uh jitterness works there is no jitterness at all the car make that left turn perfectly without any problem guys unbelievable driving in today's video guys uh, there is nothing i need to do i just have to change the destination other than that i don't have to do anything uh, till now so we're gonna go and test that critical unprotected left turn or u-turn whatever you want to call it uh, so we're going guys we're gonna make a right turn here also this road is brand new if you are watching the gps you'll see the gps is showing us to go from little right side but the car needs to follow and just go straight you'll see that right now we're going straight i hope the car will not get uh, confused yeah it turns on the indicator we don't need to turn on the indicator now because we're not gonna get into this right turn lane uh because okay now this is good there is no hesitation there we're gonna stop now definitely we need to turn on the right indicator there are cars from our left side we shouldn't proceed okay we're proceeding that car is far i allowed it did you see that i allowed the car to do and make that right turn because i understand first of all that left car from that opposite side was coming from the second lane not in this lane where we make that right turn so i allowed the car to do it because also i major uh, through my eyes that the car that car is a little far so I allowed it, but some people will definitely say, hey, I'm not comfortable. I'm just going to take over. I respect that. But that's why they're thinking like FSD is very like doing a rush or uh, things like that, which I don't totally agree with sometimes. Definitely sometimes FSD does things like that. We're going to make a right turn here. This is a very narrow road. We are going fast a little. And then we're gonna make a right turn here as you can see perfectly done without any problem very confident right turn here sometimes i definitely notice in this exact road when we make that right turn we slows down so much and then make that right turn and uh, do some weird stuff car gave a little space tiny space to that uh, motor vehicle and now we're gonna test those unprotected left turns so let's do it guys so unprotected left number one immediately proceeding even still now I didn't have to press that acceleration it just takes a little time uh, definitely when I engage it and then the car started proceeding probably you know calculating and seeing that how the GPS will work so we're gonna stop on this stop sign as I told you that this could be unprotected left turn this could be a u-turn whatever you want to call it but we're gonna creep a little bit and look on our left side if there is nothing from our left we are gonna go straight and then make a u-turn so we can definitely go now 
very good and now we need to come here on this uh, left turn lane and there are vehicle from the opposite side right now so we need to stop we need to take our time and after these two car we can definitely make that you see it is already trying to go while there is a car right so the at the moment some people will disengage and thinking like hey there is a car and you are going so i really understand and i really respect that too that yes definitely you can get nervous and you can get like you know like hey you're doing a mistake but it just behave like a human how human will do that like you know like there is a car you know you know how much distance you have and then you're gonna make a you turn over there and that white car will just pass right because it's on its flow and so we're gonna do one more time let's do it guys unprotected left number uh, two in new york as you can see we are proceeding guys we are proceeding and we are going so we're gonna make that same turn again one more time uh so let's find out uh how tesla fsd does things here so you see that human also does the same thing how fsd did this is what i prefer all the time you shouldn't proceed there are vehicle on our left side so let's find out how fsd handles there are still so many vehicle from our left, we need to definitely stop until all of the car are clear. So now you should proceed. You see, immediately proceeding. Very good job there. And now we came here and there is no vehicle from the opposite side right now. So we can definitely make a U-turn. Perfectly done, I guess. Very slow this time, making that U-turn. A little bit uh, close to the curve too. Just want to point, point out there so that you understand uh, what the car did. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Please let me know. Let me know what kind of turn it was so that I understand. Like uh, what do you want to call it? Also, we're gonna play a game right now that I'm gonna tell you a number so I know until now you watched the full video. So the number will be five. So comment below five, please, in the comment section or whatever you want. Please comment below five or whatever you want in the comment section. So I know that you watched the video till now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate your help and love that uh, you are watching all of my videos you like the video and please hit that subscribe button that will really really help me and my channel thank you so much my name is anato mohammed and uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day are you a tesla fsd beta tester stop scrolling the fsd beta bumper magnet is a must-have this sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your tesla is in self-driving mode it's easy to apply easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving don't miss out grab yours on amazon today